he uh, is in the form of his life at the moment, right? Mm. Playing the best football of his life. Yeah. And there is a World Cup literally knocking on our door. He's also doing this in a team that has been relegation threatened this season. Um, and although there are good players in that side, it's not like he's playing in a Manchester City side where he's got loads and loads of options and, and loads of support. I saw a, a graphic on match the day that said um, Premier League in 2022, um, goal involvements. James Madison is on 22, which is only beaten by Harry Kane, which is obviously massively impressive for, for the English players. Does he go to Qatar for you guys? And if the answer yes. is anything other than yes, we can't, we can't be friends. But I'm doubting myself. Why? Um because the fact like Bon Lahore and O'Hara said it, I mean, <laughs> and I'm agreeing with them, deeply concerns me. Feels wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it just feels wrong to agree with them. But no, I, I don't think there's any doubt. It's amazing looking at him, and I, and I don't know the lad, but it, it, there just seems to be a maturity about him mm. in the last 18 months or so. Um, on and off the pitch, and, I, 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 and it's unfair to say that because I, I really don't know him, but I'm just looking at him on the pitch, and I just see a, a, mm. an increased level of matu maturity, game knowledge, everything about him's improving. I've got to say that the, the quality uh, of both goals for Leicester at the weekend was absolutely outstanding. Absolutely two tremendous finishes. They really were. But Madison is playing... Certainly, in my opinion, just about the peak of his form, and yeah. it'd be an automatic shoe in for me to be on that plane. I agree with you, Ali, and and the reason the reason being is not he's having a rich vein of form at the moment, um, but and but Leicester have turned it around. Anyone can play well in a good side, anyone, anyone can play well, but when your team's not doing brilliantly, like Leicester were at the beginning of the season, he was standing up. He was the one who was trying to pull him through that rough period I think he'd done all he could and he showed a lot of character for me for me he's on the plane 100% there's so many around that position though with the competition you've got Jack Grealish you've got Phil Foden you've got Raheem Sterling you've got Mason Mount so many how's he ever going to get a game it depends what Gareth's thinking of course he's fantastic on dead balls we've seen that in recent weeks he can score a goal um, his assists are incredible He's timed it brilliantly. He cannot do any more. So all credit to him for that. He's 100% got a ticket and sitting on that plane. Oh, do you think, though, that um, the fact that he hasn't really been involved, apart from that one squad years ago, do you think that... It's a worry, yeah. Yeah. Do you think that perhaps... Yeah, of course. As, well, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I mean, Gareth's an excellent coach, excellent manager, and he's... He's not going to cut his nose off despite his face. Whether there was a problem or there was a problem with um, Gareth and, and James Madison beforehand, there have been, you know, obviously there have been, you know, when he pulled out that squad, there's been one or two issues with one of the young, a couple of the younger players before. These things happen, but you cannot, uh, you just cannot hold grudges. I'm not saying for a minute Gareth does, because I think he's far too intelligent and he knows the value of the players around him, as I say, wouldn't cut his nose off. So, for that reason, you know, it would be a concern that he hasn't been in any um, recent squads. But at the same time, there's one or two decisions that, that you know, Gareth has made, which he will stand by, but ha has has baffled me ever so slightly. For example, bringing Tony into the squad, mm. not, not giving him any game time at all. But these are all decisions that managers live and die by. But looking at current form, I just think he's, he's he's a certainty. He's got a single cap for England, and and that came actually after the incident in the um, casino where he was sick. And, and what yeah. actually happened? I think that there can be there's a little bit of confusion around it because people kind of think that that might have been the reason why he didn't get involved again. But he did actually get the cap after it. He was sick, so he didn't travel with England. He was told, look, not not going to travel. And then he felt a little bit better, and then he was in, ended up being pictured in a in a casino. I think people change though, don't they? And, and like you say, Ali, people mature, people grow. He's got a family, young yeah. family now as well. Well, there um, you are. And at the Doesn't moment, at, yeah, at the moment, little boy, mm. at the moment Probably. playing to the peak of his powers and it, it would just be, it would be a travesty, I think, if he wasn't to be included in this um, squad yeah. for Qatar. We'll find out on Thursday. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.